Good morning. Good morning. So, got the wood stove pretty much set to where we're gonna put it. Got this nice little backing on it um, with some wife's river rock, with a big rock that it's sitting on. Um, now's the, uh, the fun part. Um, so, I gotta drill this hole. <laughs> <laughs> to start uh, the bigger stuff as far as the ceiling goes. So that's what we're doing now. You see daylight? Uh, no. Come here and look at this. This looks center to you. Yeah, maybe. Daylight! It's getting real now. Well guys, this is it. So what I did was, I got uh, roofing screws to go through the boot. Um, and then this is a triple wall pipe. This is uh, the storm collar, or the, the, the cap thing. And then this is it. So, um, roughly seven inch hole in the roof and uh, went really well. So pretty pretty excited about it. Um, I'm gonna show you some inside stuff, but I wanted to get a little video of the top. The reason we went with roofing screws is because they have the, the gaskets on them. So um, we got a, a, a sealant down underneath, um, a higher temperature sealant for the, uh, for the boot that way you know, fire issues and stuff like that. And then, um, yeah, we got these, these screws with the metal or with the, with the, uh, gasket. So, uh, pretty awesome. So we're done up here. Uh, we're going to go in and show you kind of what we did on the inside. Uh, so yeah. So we're starting a fire, just basically making sure the draw is good. And uh, as long as that's good, which it looks so far, it looks good, uh, we'll be done. So we already uh, we did a burn outside earlier to help burn off gases. So did that already. And now we're just making sure the draw is good, making sure the pipes aren't super hot behind it. This one's warm now. That one's not not even cold. Not even. Not even good. This one's good behind here. So far, so good. Uh, mommy, that thing, mommy, that thing on the wall helps. Yep, it does help. So we got um, sheeting up. Um, this is just galvanized steel, like you would use. Uh, actually, it's for uh, roof, uh, for the where the uh, like a normal wood stove would go through your roof. This is the kind of sheeting you put down. 
Um, so we use that for in here. Hopefully we're gonna get some galvan, like some uh, barn tan or whatever to put in front of it. Emily wants to do that. And then uh, this is just like a slab that you can buy. We got this at Lowe's, and then we got these rocks at Lowe's. And then these rocks, uh, they're they're down. They're like stuck with uh, burnt or uh, fireproof caulking. So we got that. So, so far, so good. I like Super our, pumped. I like our new one. And what do you think? I like it. So. We still got to finish the backing to make it look nicer, but. Yeah. But it's already good. It's already set off the smoke alarm. Yeah. That's really good. That's super cool. It's a lot cooler than I thought it'd be. Um, that, there's no hole down there. There's no hole on the fire. So I showed the roof already. Um, but yeah, basically you just cut. We used actually the, the ring to get, um, a decent yeah, measurement. And then we cut two inches off that, um, to be able to get the hole. And then we just, I mean, pretty much. We, we tried to like do complete measurements, but like we pretty much eyeballed the center and we ended up being right. So I know I'm pretty stoked about it. I think Emily is too. So, um, and the cool part is, so our kids, except for Nora, which she'll have to figure it out as we go. Um, but basically the other, the older two, they know, you know, a wood stove is hot. We don't mess with the wood stove. So, uh, we had to cut off part of, uh, so we got three, what are they, 12 inch pieces? Mm -hmm. So we had to cut one of them off. So I had to go buy an angle grinder today. So now I'm, I am now an owner of an angle grinder. So if I ever need to cut anything else, which I plan on, probably have to do more of this. So. It's hot.